relax. Anything in here would be dead by now. Roger that. Air One, clear for takeoff. Begin tracking. Copy that. Go, go! Tracking on. Land One, the asset is secure. We got what we came for. We're coming back for you. Close the doors. Marine One, I gotta close the gates. Get out of there. Understood. We're heading out. I need to close the gates. Confirm position. Can you hear me? Are you out? Marine One? Guys, what is that? Marine One, I'm closing the gates. Seriously, guys, I'm kind of exposed out here. Marine One, confirm your out. Marine One, confirm position. Can you hear me? Marine One, where are you? I can't reach them! What? What is going on? I can't hear you! DNA sample secure. Tell the boss we're coming back home.
Three years after the fall of Jurassic World, the debate over Isla Nublar rages on. The island's long dormant volcano, reclassified as active, has shown considerable unrest in recent months. Geologists now predict an extinction level event will kill off the last living dinosaurs on the planet. Since the disaster that shocked the world in 2015, the Masrani Corporation has paid out more than 800 million in damages to settle class action lawsuits brought by survivors. Activist groups have mobilized around the globe in what has become the flashpoint animal rights issue of our time. With an eruption expected at any moment, the US Senate has convened a special committee to answer a grave moral question. Do dinosaurs deserve the same protections given to other endangered species, or should they be left to die? I think that we should allow our magnificent, glorious dinosaurs to be taken out by the volcano. Murderer. As, the silence, please. As deeply sad as that would be, we altered the course of natural history. This is a correction. Are you suggesting the Almighty is taking matters in his own hands? Senator, with all due respect, God's not part of the equation, no. What I mean is that in the last century, we amassed a landmark technological power, and we've consistently proven ourselves incapable of handling that power. 80 years ago, who could have predicted nuclear proliferation? But then there it was. And now we've got genetic power. So how long is it going to take for that to spread around the globe? And what's going to be done with it? It ain't going to stop with the de-extinction of the dinosaurs. I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. I'm talking about man-made cataclysmic change. What kind of change? Change is like death. You don't know what it looks like until you're standing at the gates. Dinosaur's best interest in mind of a paleo veterinarian. That's a real thing. No, I haven't seen one with my own eyes. You know, not everyone can afford to spend their life savings. Oh. Hello, hello. Um, Congresswoman Delgado. I'm, I'm Claire. I'm the lead organizer here. Uh, of course, but if I could just get a moment of your time? Great, thank you. Um, so our mission here at the Dinosaur Protection Group is to secure federal funding for... A that was like 40 seconds for getting better. You gotta stop letting your mom shop for you. You don't need to insult me every time someone pisses you off. Dude, I'm a doctor, not a telemarketer. What is your job again? You plug in cords, right? It's actually more important than it sounds. Can I ask you a question? Do you have kids? Okay, so your kids. An entire generation has grown up in a world where dinosaurs are living and breathing. But soon they're gonna have to watch them go extinct. Or not. If people like you make a difference. <laughs> 